do you just go to someone, a burning victim, and go talk to that guy? And he's like, no, I'm burning. It's, no, talk to him, idiot. <laughs> The Mo Gal Giddy episode 16. Episode 16. Episode 16. I know. Do you know what that would be in um in Roman numerals? Episode X V I. V I. Right, boss, boss level. Boss Go level. Boss. Just kill Bowser in his stupid face. Well at least this one isn't tortilla themed. That's the important thing. It's not tortilla themed. Bowser's lava layer. Bowser's big lava power party. You mean like every single Bowser Sage ever? Has he got a lava kink or something? Yeah. You know, it's not very good to manoeuvre your way around. It's kind of shit at Darth Vader has Darth Vader's a bit weird, isn't he? Because he lives where he died. Well, he lives where he got, like, really, really burnt. Oh, must have... Yeah, well... Why did he live there? Why what? didn't you just go, I don't want to be reminded of this every day. I want to go somewhere else. I suppose to kind of fuel his hatred. You're just the greatest person in the world, pass it here. I wanted to see if it was zero gravity. <laughs> Of no, of course. Fact, no, actual gravity, because that's how gravity works. We've got every stage in this has been silly. Let's run water. Thank God. Like, uh, why does he live there? Who, Vader? Yeah, does he just, is he constantly de <coughs> depressed? Fuel, it's to fuel his hatred. It's Inside like... his little weird space orb on the Death Star. <laughs> it's because, like, the Sith, like, are fueled by, like, the heck is that? Point of a screen. Oh, no. I hate these things. Go on, can you? Sith are fueled by their hatred and stuff. So, like they meditate and just go, they're just like, oh, I really hate you. So they're basically just space emos. In a way, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to jump because I might die. I mean, like for example, Darth Maul like survived with just like half a torso because he hated Ooh. Kenobi a lot. He survived with half a torso. Have you seen the robot chicken where like there's always there's that uh, janitor? He's just going around mopping stuff up and just people's torsos appear. <laughs> no. It's like ah, oh, I really needed that move to the death. Are you stopping fire? In its path. Hold on, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Yes. Try and stop the lava. Grab that mushroom. Thanks. Oh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Jump on it. Thanks, Del Boy. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Stop seen, the fire! You've seen only fools and horses. Yeah. We just learned how you can stop fire, and you didn't stop the fire. You did it now, but not before when I lost the health point. Actual plum. Get to the lava. It's one thing I hate in these things. It's the flippy levels, because I have my invisible motorbike thing. And also, anything flippy, or anything that involves you to have your cursor always on the screen. Can you stop him? Stop that one. Okay, thanks. And now the other one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The dentist is like, oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to. If I was not, if I was not burning, if I was not burning, I would. <laughs> Do you just go to someone, a burning victim, and go talk to that guy? And it's like, no, I'm burning. It's, no, talk to him, idiot. Hurry up! We found one single coin for you. <laughs> Thanks, Toad. <laughs> you useless idiot. One of them's nervous. Come on, go home. Toad, stop being bouncy. You almost killed me. Okay, time, time to block that. Come on, come on, you got it. You got this, Kai. Oh no. Haha! <laughs> it's so easy having second hand. Do you reckon you'd be able to control three arms? What do you mean? Go up there. Go it's up a there. topic that Go I'll. Up there. Shut up. Stop the fire. Stop the fire. Get all the coins. It would be great if you didn't stop the fire right in front of me. I'm trying to stop the fire, but you keep on fucking moving away from the fire. Yeah, but whenever you whenever you stop it, it's just as I'm about to hit it. Get the button. I watched Pacific Rim. This is something I'll go, I'll delve deeper into in, in the podcast because yeah, I've got more to it. Okay. But in Pacific Rim, uh, you need two you need two pilots to control one of the Jaegers, and like you both control one arm. Okay. Yeah. So like you both well you both control the entire thing, but like I will get that when I want to. Um, Once I've done this. Ugh. All right, save. Right, both of them need to move one arm to move one arm on the Jaeger. Yeah. Okay. However, the Japanese Jaeger has got three arms and three pilots. How does that work? Well, I suppose like what, they control another arm. They can't though. That logic doesn't work. Because if two people have to move to control one arm, how does that third arm move freely? It doesn't work. Perhaps they just. You, it's, it's Japan. They can use this kind of logic. It's fine. If they do right. it. If they do it. Be, they can have three arms because of their their ability to fight the monster. Can't get it, I can't get it. Yeah, but there was one that was really high before him, wasn't there? And we tried to get it. And I remember you going, hey, look at that, being competent. That thing that you're not doing. <laughs> and then I felt really bad and didn't sleep for three days. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I'll get it another we'll time. Get it another Probably way to get it. What's this guy? Talk him in the face. I mean, you're right. You can ground pound it to break the... Right, watch this logic, right? Ready? Boink. Football! <laughs> you know what you could have done to make this a lot easier? Here. Not have the door. <laughs> you don't need How it. How does Bowser just move around this place? Like, I want to go to the, the the coffee maker. Oh wait, you got to go to like three I mean, mazes and five tubes. I mean, like this carpet, right? Looks really clean. So, like, is there a guy maintaining this? 
We can't jump in. Okay. Is there a guy maintaining this? Yeah. No, like, seriously. Is there a guy maintaining it? And if so, like, I feel so sorry for him. Well, yeah, he's got to deal with, like, you know, antimatter and physics breaking and stuff. Yeah. Is, don't, there, is don't, there a switch to turn it off? Bowser. Mate. Don't ever get an epileptic to do your handiwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's one of these. Cause it, oh, dear. Grab that. Grab that. Okay, Thank okay. you. All oh, right, I thought Jump we got like, over nine. the fight. You have we, one job, Kai. We can go faster. We have the technology. No, no don't. Just, just. Ooh, we need one more coin, don't we? If you find a coin, grab it, because we'll need it. Okay, let's go. Be careful of the statues. I, I can't. I can't do anything to them. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, oh. Hold him down. Hold him down. <laughs> My life is being like this, so I can be crushed. Like, what is with these weird corners with lava? What do you mean? Look at the corner on it. Look at that. See? The lava just kind of goes... It doesn't fall off or anything. It's just a corner. Also, like, are we orbiting a planet or a, or a star here? What, what's that? It's never really that clear, is it? What is anything? Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Aha! Got it. Alright, cool. I didn't, I didn't get it. Did you? No. Alright, there's nothing on that other flag. Hooray! I'll I, I tell you what has the flags back, though. This is Katana! She's got my back! back. <laughs> I would advise. <laughs> Shut up. We don't need it. We don't need it. Have we talked about how I don't like DC movies? Uh, not not like the not the fact like not DC movies in general. It's like modern DC movies. Like how when they're in the cinema, they're a film. Yeah. When they're on DVD and Blu-ray, they add all the bits to make it make vague sense. <laughs> why not just do that originally? Exactly. So that's why. <laughs> you showed up. Did he have that life? That that life. The. Oh no, he didn't have a voice. He had, a, he had this. Ha ha ha! Showed up, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Look at you running around like a little flea on my puny planet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that isn't puny, man. Massive new power. Penis. <laughs> Can you just overdub every time I take every time I say power with that? The uh, the power. Penis. To flatten you like a space pancake. Mm. <laughs> You're in the middle of a uh, pushing out something then. Bug it, bug it. Wait, wait, wait. I can't help you now. I know how to You're fix your this. Own. I know how to fix this. I'm hit. I'm hit. Bugger. I know how to fix this. I okay. have the technology. <laughs> <laughs> do what we did last time. I can't remember what we did last time. I do. What? So at the door. That's really scary. We can hear something clawing at Kai's door. <laughs> I'm, scared. I'm scared, Harry. I'm super scared. Right. What? Whilst you're changing it. Okay. What is this structure? It's a it, castle. Has he gotten... But, like, it's not a castle. It is. It's a planet. I like how they went through... Like, they got the builders in to give it, like, a like turret... Uh, not turrets, like, uh, the tower turret thingies. And doorways, but... Actually really it's creepy. It's squeaking at the door. Anyway, go on. No, it's not squeaking at the door, Harry. Because the handle's going down. Um... <laughs> wait a second. Who's there? I don't... Hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> Instead of spending an entire minute and 20 seconds trying to open the door, why not just open the door? Good. You really scared us. You hurt yourself. Yeah, she fell down an entire road. You okay? <laughs> You're a mute though, so that's well, fine. I wanted to see that one. <laughs> I thought it was a, a, a poltergeist for a second. I would never have you in a horror situation. You're so quick to just go, nah, it's nothing. <laughs> Someone's scraping the door. Like, I, I, what, what is this? It's probably just wind. <laughs> All right, anyway, back to this. All right, I probably shouldn't have done that, because... Die, die, stop, we're stop it. Can I hold him in place? <laughs> no. no. I really need to stop. Oh, dear Lord. Climb up him. Come on, you can do it. You All can... right, you have to... Oh, okay, Wait. I didn't know you had to do that. Yeah, you have to fist him. <laughs> Let's get a read of the terrain first. How is he even doing what he's doing? Right. Yeah, he does. Okay, good. All right, we've got the method down. Ha! Oh, I wonder if I could do something. Oh, well, I've kind of screwed myself over there. The thing that Bowser does for Princess Peach's cake. Why is he, like, really big in this? Whereas every other Mario game, he's, like, normal size. Oh, because, like... Doesn't he get shrunk at the end? He probably just... He's, he, he's off his diet. He's off his diet. He's just a bit. I don't think you, like, increase in size all around when you when you gain weight. You gain weight around your stomach first. Well, you'd know, being, you know, the fit bastard that you are. I'm not. I really am not. You want to talk about Ethan about that? Better than me. When it comes to ex when it comes to exercise, when it comes to Hel looks, health wise, probably health wise, probably distribution wise, no. All right, we do not want him. Oh, it's fire! How was he moving? 
This is our mission. We've got to try and complete this level without losing any life points. If we can do that, we'll be legends. Well, we've only got one more thing to do anyway, so... I think it's... All oh, right. We did it. Right, right, no. You moved with ease around that planet. You could have easily gotten the star. All right, now he's small again. Where is he falling to? Remember Mario Sunshine? When... Do you remember Mario Sunshine when he used to speak English and he had the really unfit? His voice was really. It was kind of like your voice that you were on, a... that you were doing for Bowser there. And that he kind of referred to Bowser Jr. like that. <laughs> okay. Good thing I went anyway. Huh? Well, I've been playing my master plan and moved up to the next phase. Puff luck. Mario. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, just re we should replay uh, like Mario Sunshine. Just listen to Bowser's really, really inappropriate voice. Well, on my old computer, I had it. So I think the next time you come around, I'll, I'll put it on. But, like, you hear Bowser's voice on this, and it's... It's obviously, you know, threatening voice, kind of. Yeah. Mario Sunshine sounds nothing like that. Right. It's just like this. Guess what you it can do? It sounds like a weird Kermit the Frog. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we did. We did it. We did it. You know what you can do? What? Okay. Not you. No one likes you. Talking to them at home? Yeah. But you can subscribe. Hi, will come to your house and lick you up and down. You've already said that. <laughs> they didn't say that you'd lick them up and down. Oh, yeah. A portal to a new world opened up. A whole new galaxy, I think. To see where we go next. Kai. Don't leave me hanging.